What's up, guys? Tony here, hanging out with you from Learn Auto Body and Paint.com and Paradise Garage. I hope you guys are doing well. Please do me a favor and give me an update on the audio and video quality. Um, don't mind the chainsaw noises in the back. I got some guys cutting some trees down. Hopefully, it's not that bad. So just give me an update. Type in the chat. Um, let me know if you guys can hear me or not. And also, uh, let me know if you are a Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP member uh, by typing in uh, Learn Auto Body VIP from wherever you are. And also, if this is your first time joining VIP or not, just put newbie and where you're from. All right. So we're going to get the party started. We're going to be talking about auto body, um, about your projects, whatever you guys are working on. And if the audio in the background, if the chainsaw is annoying i'll close some windows up but just give me some feedback um and let me know what's what's going on okay so we got hi soon to be um non-vip sounds and looks good okay awesome awesome so just let me know how the audio is with the chainsaw in the back because it's kind of bothering me but if it's not coming into the audio here and if it's okay then we'll just keep cranking all right. Um, and they don't have the wood chipper on yet. That's going to be a little noisier. But what's up, guys? What's up? What's up? Lifetime VIP Kansas straight out of Belize. Wow, that's awesome. What part of Belize? Where in Belize? My brother was in Belize for a long time. He's actually planning to go back to Belize um, for some real estate projects and uh setting up out there I, I think that's pretty cool uh newbie from the great state of texas central texas area i love texas lived there for almost eight years and it was pretty awesome so we got ali in the background over here look at her i think she's going in the pool but uh let's see newbie from michigan what's up vehicle nanny <laughs> uh milwaukee wyoming no Milwaukee, working on a 72 Buick, part of Belize City, lifetime VIP from North Carolina. What's up, Arnold? How you guys doing? Audio is fine. Can't hear the chainsaw. Good. So I think they're just, um, they, they're getting started with the chainsaw. It ain't that bad. It ain't that bad right now, but I'm going to close those just in case. And just going to get more airflow to my seat. <sighs> okay. Um, what's up, Arnold? How you doing? How you doing? Steve, Lifetime VIP, all good here. Happy Labor Day. Yeah, happy Labor Day, everybody. How you guys doing? Okay. So is the lighting okay? I know I'm a little dark here. Um, I know it, it looks a little dark, but... But it's all good, right? It's all good. So I'm going to post a, a couple banners. I just want to say welcome VIP members. Um, what kind of projects are you working on? Let me know. And do you guys remember my BMW i3? So my mom needed a car, so I let her use it, and she ends up crashing it yesterday. Uh, thank God nobody was hurt, but she literally pushed the whole front of my BMW i3 in. Um, pros and cons, because I guess that could be another project video for VIP, you know, with, with collision damage. Be I mean, we were going to paint it anyway, but now we are basically going to be repl replacing the front bumper covers and the lights got like the, the light housing got cracked. So a lot of damage um, looks like a five to $6,000 damage, maybe more. Um, unfortunate, but it happened um, as long as everybody's okay crazy this is yesterday you know yesterday she was coming to my house with the bmw and she ended up hitting the guy hitting a ford mustang in front of her and uh unbelievable uh just joined the vip three weeks ago can't view videos on the green dodge truck or the 97 miata and other videos that's strange uh because you should be able to get um all access to all videos in vip so Carlos, can you just please uh, email ninja support at 
and then just tell them what's going on. Maybe you can send a screenshot of what you're seeing uh, because if you're a VIP, you should be able to be able to see everything in the VIP program. So just send them uh, an email and I'm sure they will help you out within 24 hours, uh, most times, most times uh, quicker. Everybody gives a thumbs up if you haven't yet. Thumbs up super quickly. Um, man, I wish I was on the beach. Yeah, me too. I haven't been to the beach in, in a good good week, five days or so. What's up, Gavin? Uh, here is, hey, it's Tony here, my bang bus. Jason Dinner, what is the bang bus? <laughs> what are you talking about, bang bus? <laughs> Uh, Arnold, thank you for flashing that ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com. So what kind of projects you guys got going? Any any uh, hurdles on your auto body projects? Oh, by the way, Zula.com is doing a Labor Day sale um, for spray guns. So if you guys are looking for spray guns, check out Zula.com. I think right now you're getting 25 bucks off. Uh, you're getting... Uh, the gun bud and some other free goodie pedal car. So glad you told us about Zula. Awesome, JD. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. <laughs> oh, man. So, oh. By the way, oh, well, we'll talk about the uh, the other opportunity in a little while. So just, I mean, anybody got auto body Q&A? Now is the time. Type it in. You know, no newbie question is too newbie. You know, don't feel like, you know, you can't ask something because it seems so simple. I mean, you know, it's we want to break it down simply for you. So whatever questions you got um, and also updates, we got new Honda Grom videos coming out uh, probably by the weekend on YouTube and in VIP. So do not uh, forget to stay tuned and, and check back. Um, it seems a little dark. Maybe I should put this light on. I think it's just a camera. All right, so let's see. Here we go. I've been sanding all day. Don't forget to get at least a gun butt if you're not looking into spray guns. <clears throat> Been sanding all day. My arms feel like they're ready to fall off. Yeah, I get it. All right. So let's see. I'm just going to drop a link here for all the newbies tuning in. If they want to get more info. Yeah, let's actually give away a couple gun buds. That's a great idea. Um, I have, I probably have... Because I got my shipment from Texas in in the container, and I, I think I got like 15 or 20, 20, maybe even more. I got about 15 gun buds um, at my location right now. These things right here. So maybe we can give one out. Who is a brand new member uh that joined up in the past couple of weeks or days or whatever let me know who is the newest member um at learn auto body vip let me know uh maybe we can give away a gun bud to uh to you okay cool 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 so i guess there's no People don't really have much questions today. What time is it? 8, 8 p.m. Central? What you guys doing? Chilling? All right. Well, if we don't have questions on that, I'm opening up an opportunity um, for my e-com domination training. I'm just going to drop a link if you guys are interested. This is going to be closing out in like four hours uh, to get into the training area. So if you guys are interested in learning how to basically build up an e-commerce business, you might want to sign up to that training. The link I just shared here, um, once that 
um, timer on that page expires, you won't be able to register. So it's about three hours and 50 minutes uh, left right now. And then once you put your name and info in, you're going to have time to check out the program and see what it's about, see how I can help you and all that other good stuff. So you might want to check this out if you're interested in learning how to create an extra stream of income uh, online, especially during these times. So I'm just going to post the link one more time here. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Arnold, for uh, putting that out. Yep. Just pay $15 shipping and handling to help out with shipping. Thank you and good luck. Awesome. Awesome. So what's new? You guys working on any new projects or what's good? I got the van project out here. Just so many things going on. It's crazy, but we are we are starting to get to, to all of that. Okay, let's see here. So what are we talking about? We're not talking about cars. Uh, it seems like we're not talking about cars today. Nobody has any auto body questions. So if you want to talk about crypto, we can talk about crypto. You guys want to talk about, uh, let's see, what is JD? JD just said something here. Last thing anyone would want is to lose their job or have their job hanging over their head because of their vaccination status. Oh man, JD, you really hit it on the head. That's so true. That's so true. And I think that's one of the best parts about having your own business or being an entrepreneur is, you know, if you're a little skeptical when it comes to that type of stuff, you can opt out for now. You can opt out, you know, you, who knows how it's going to be in the future. Once they get a hold of your finances and bank accounts and got you by the neck but for now for now you know having your own business your own stream of income your own hustle online where you could make money while you sleep you know is is such it's it's really it's freedom that's you know it's really freedom arnold says how do you determine shrinkage time on primer um most 2K primers, as when it comes to shrinkage, you should be good a day or two after primer. I, and if you put it in the sun and you let it bake in the sun, even better. Okay. Um, it depends on your ambient temperature. If you guys are in like 60, 70 degree weather, you might want to really let it sit for a few days uh, to make sure it cures or put some heat lamps on it to really get that thing to cure dry hard. Um, but 1K is a little tricky. 1K dries really, really quick because the solvents just dissipate, right? But then you really want to make sure that you have some glaze putty on it to cover your scratches because 1K is such a thin primer that you really can't fill. So if you're using a 1K primer, guys, make sure... After you spray your 1K primer, you glaze it and then you block it and then you put more 1K on top of it and it's looking nice and flat before you paint it. Okay. Because 1K, you know, 1K is where you're really going to see scratches coming through. Okay. Because of shrinkage as well. Yeah. I checked with my boss, looked in the mirror and he said I was good till. Only the people that acquire wealth never did it working for someone else. So true, Arnold. So true. Drew says, I have a 67 GTX uh, that's pretty much down to original primer and needs body work. Do I take it all the way down to bare metal uh, or do I scuff it in epoxy primer? All of it. Okay. So this depends on... This depends on how sentimental the project is and how much you want to get it done the right way. Okay. So if you're looking to, if this is something sentimental, you want to do it right from the beginning, I would take it down to metal and then epoxy prime it. And then on top of your epoxy prime, you could put two, three coats of filler primer. Okay. And then block it out, do your body work, whatever you got to do. Um, if it's a flip, if it's something that you really don't care too much about, um, you could just 
get everything smooth, then put epoxy primer on it, including on top of sanded feathered out paint. Okay, so again, it depends on how much time you got, how much you want to put into it. Is it your baby? Is it sentimental? Is it going to bother you down the road that you didn't do it correctly? You know, you have to consider these things before uh, you start it. So it's, it's, that's pretty much how I would look at it. Drew. Aloha. Jim says, Aloha. Have you ever used Speedo Coat color blender or a similar product? If so, how well does it work and why would I use it? Um, I've never used the speed coat color blender. Okay. Um, what are you, first of all, let me ask you a question. What are you trying to do? Tell, tell me more about your project and what you're trying to do. And then I'll reply to that. <laughs> what do you got some shrinkage? Did you jump in the pool or something? <laughs> You guys are hilarious. You guys are hilarious. I joined VIP a while back, but this is the first time in your live chat. That's awesome. Awesome. Just ordered my third Adam X. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. So let me know, Jim, you're a VIP. Jimmy, you're a VIP. Um, please send me some photos or a video of your project. Show me what you're working on so I can better help you. All right. The more you give me, the more I can help you. Um, Jeffrey says, hello, I want to paint my motorcycle with candy. What would be a good base coat? So anytime you're doing candies, you want to spray over a silver metallic base coat. Okay. Candies come out the best over base coats, over silver base coats. So you could go with a, you know, a light silver base coat, a medium, you know, it depends. You can get a silver base coat that has a lot of metallic in it, which is going to help your candy pop even more with the mini flake in there, you know, with the metallics. Um, so, yeah, any type of silver that you like. So if you checked out, like if you saw any car on the road and you like that particular silver, like on a Honda Accord, just just remember the, the year, make and model of the car, go to the paint shop and just order it. Or you can just go to the paint shop, look in the book and then pick out a silver that you like. Um, and then I asked a question about blending. Did you read this? Yes, I read it, um, but I wanna know where, what are you trying to blend? Because it's not, you don't necessarily need a blender to do blending. You could just blend by blending base coat. Okay. So that's, I kind of wanted to get some more information from you. Like where, what are you trying to blend a quarter panel pillar? Uh, what, you know, what are you doing? A blender just reduces your base coat. Okay. It's like a clear base coat. Maybe you can send me some pictures or a video. Wicked metallic over. Yeah, that would definitely work. What's up, Scott? Texas VIP. Jack Thomas says, I've never painted before. I'm terrified that I'll totally mess it up. Any suggestions uh, to do my first paint project? Well, I would say number one is you can't be afraid of it. You have to just do it. Okay. And the more you you will make a mistake. Okay. Eventually, if not from the get go, um, eventually, if you start doing projects, you're going to make a mistake at some point. But to avoid that, I would definitely check out learnautobodyandpaint.com right over here. Grab the free video training, the free PDF. It'll teach you more about the basics and how to get started if you haven't. And um, and then you could go from there. You know, if you want to get more in depth then check out the VIP program um, that's offered on the next page at a special discount if you want to check that out. Um, but then, you know, you can't be terrified because you will mess up. I mess, you know, I'm, I consider myself somebody who's been doing this for a very long time. 
you know, prof a professional pretty much. And I make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes you're in a rush. Sometimes it's not your day. You, you run it or sometimes there's something in the air and you get a chemical reaction. You know, it, it happens. So I think a professional is not somebody who doesn't make mistakes because we all make mistakes or something pops up unexpected. It's how you react to that mistake and how you fix it. Okay. Because there are ways to fix things without totally going down to ground zero and starting all over again. There's ways to salvage uh, a messed up paint job, which is in between, you know, especially in base coats. Unfortunately, if you're doing clear coats or candies or using pearls or, you know, and you run pearls in a clear coat, then you really can't fix that unless it dries and you start all over again. You guys get it? Thank you, Arnold, for um, for typing that out. I really appreciate that. Making mistakes is how you learn. Like, Arnold, how many times have you made mistakes? Seriously. Like, Arnold, you know, Arnold, once in a while, he'll text me. He'll be like, yo, check this out. What do you think of this color? You know, he show. So Arnold is a, a super active VIP. He's very passionate about it, and he's always – honing his skills and he's getting better. So you just got to do it. You know, you got to learn from somebody's techniques and you apply it. So if you, if you're following somebody, I don't care who you're following. It could be me. It could be somebody else on YouTube, whatever. If you're going to follow somebody, follow somebody's techniques from A to Z. Okay. Because if you don't, you're going to be watching this dude. He's going to say something. You're going to watch this dude. He's going to say something. And you're going to be like, you're going to get all confused. You're going to be like, well, this guy's saying spray at this. This guy's saying spray at this PSI. Like, Tony, what's the correct way? The correct, it's like martial arts. You know, if you're going to take a martial art, you follow Jeet Kune Do to the end. You follow, you know, Kung Fu or whatever till you know, till the end. And then like, just like Bruce Lee did, he created his own after learning a bunch of different martial art techniques, right? Um, you take what you like. But I think it's super important to go A to Z from one person's experience and training techniques. So that's why I say, hey, check out learnautobodyandpaint.com. We've been helping people since 2010 learn this stuff and actually come out opening up their own body shops. No joke. No joke. You got it. You got it. You got it. And Jack Thomas, in my VIP, like I show you mistakes that I made and we don't edit it out. We just show you how it was fixed. So this way, when you end up, you know, going through a similar mistake, you get to be like, oh, Tony did it like that. He fixed it. Let me just do it like Tony did and, and you know, come out on top. So that's the other cool thing about VIP is um, I reveal everything, even if I screwed up or something happened. There was one one video where I was mixing base coat and I put in wax and grease remover by mistake instead of reducer and the paint automatically curled up and I had to throw it out. And I was so thin on paint and, you know, I had to literally stretch the white base coat to finish the job. And we finished the job stretching it. It means over reducing it, you know, something you're not supposed to do, but we showed you how to over reduce it and spray it and blend it. And I think that was on the CX-5, the Mazda CX-5 project when we did the uh, the hood, you know, and I had to change the graphic design of it because I kind of ran out of white. So things like that, you know, you compromise, you improvise, you improvise. That's the word. Um, thank you, Arnold. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Christian Shepard said, how do I get around dry spray in my clear coat? I spray bonnet by the time I get around. So the number one thing when spraying clear coat is you want to make sure it's laying on wet. If it looks dry, go back to it immediately and wet it. You know, people are not putting enough clear coat or paint on your projects, which is why it's coming out dry. So number one, use a decent gun. Okay, don't use an El Cheapo $50, you know, $30, $75 cheapo spray gun. Use a medium grade, okay, if you can afford it. I like Atom X spray guns. You can check this one out. This is the Blue Moon. 
um, the blue moon by Adam X at Zula.com. And the other important thing, so get a good medium grade gun. You don't have to get an $800 spray gun. The other thing is lighting is super important because when you can see directly what you're painting and how it's flowing out, you're going to have an easier time. Okay. Cause if you can't see and this gun, bud totally eliminates shadows. Uh, when you're painting, it's, it's probably the coolest tool and invention out there when it comes to painting, they have different ones like the Luma lie or whatever. It's like a couple hundred bucks, but it only fits certain guns and it's right here. I don't like it with the lights right here. Uh, because you get a reflection, like when you're painting, the reflection is right there. And it just, to me, I don't like it. This comes from the top. When you're painting, it lights up the whole panel. There's no direct reflection on it and it works. Check out the Amazon reviews, guys. Amazing product, GunBud. Check it out. It's a good tool to add to your spray gun. Fits on any spray gun cup, mini or large, uh, and it works like gangbusters. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to drop a link on Amazon. You guys can check it out. Any other auto body questions, guys? Let me know. I'm just going to drop this in there for you guys. Okay. Arnold said, good luck. Check your gun settings and don't be afraid. Yeah, that's another thing I forgot. Check your gun settings. Make sure you're spraying at pretty much wide open fan pattern. Okay. If you're doing clear coat and spraying at about, you know, depending on the gun, depending on the gun. I, I'm noticing that the X88 Blue Moon can spray at a lot lower uh, pressure than the other Atom X models or, or, or other spray guns, in fact. Um, you could lay down nice clear coat at 22 pounds, but if you want to go extra, you can go 24, 25 PSI uh, and lay it on. Do you have to sand sealer? So uh, it depends on what kind of sealer you're, if you, you're using. If you're using a straight sealer, when you're spraying it on right before you put your base coat on, you're not supposed to sand it. Okay, you're supposed to be using a good gun, okay, that lays on clear coat well, Atom X27, Atom X88, and you spray your base coat clear coat right on top of that. If you're using a primer sealer, Okay, they have primer surface or sealers. Then I like to sand it down. I like to block it out. Okay, to make sure it's flat before I paint. Looks like we had a little hook up, hiccup, and my screen just paused. Are we all here, guys? Let me know if, we, if we're still here. Um, Jim says I'm working on a 1939 gram. It's been in my shop for a total rebuild a couple of years now. It's almost ready to go, but the paint is showing some showing shop scratches i plan on uh just washing it clay bar and da polishing the blending question was for blending a clear coat after sanding okay so if you're blending clear coat into clear coat if you're blending clear coat into clear coat you could have your panel sanded with about 1500 grit and you could color blend your clear coat into that, let it dry, and then buff it out. You can also just use reducer, okay, clear coat reducer mixed with your clear coat. About 25% clear coat or 30% clear coat, 70% reducer, and just blend it that way, okay? And just be careful. When you're using that much reducer, you, you're going to want to spray it far from the panel, high PSI, 25 PSI, and just missed it because, because of its reduced viscosity, it's going to be very thin. And if you get close to it, it's going to run really, really fast. So just be careful when blending. We have blending via VIP videos uh, in Learn Auto Body. So if you want to check that out, uh, don't forget to check out uh, the VIP section uh, in Learn Auto Body. And we're going to be doing more videos like that as well. We're going to be adding more videos to VIP uh, in the coming months. 
Um, okay, loud and clear. Thank you. Still there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So is everybody good? Everybody all good or what? Any last minute questions? Allie's in the pool over there. Any last minute questions, guys? Let me know. Um, we're coming up on the 30 minute mark. I can stay another 10 minutes um, if we have the interaction up. If not, um, I'm going to head out. But before I head out, I'm going to drop a couple links again. If you're a total newbie, uh, you want to learn more, don't forget to check out learnautobodyandpaint.com. Um, we got Zula doing a special Labor Day sale. I think it's right here, 25 bucks cash back on all spray guns, a free gun bud and free um, pocket flashlight. So I'm going to drop those links right here. Uh, no problem, Jeffrey. Uh, is there a aloha, aloha to you too, man? Aloha to you too. <clears throat> is there an alternative to wax and grease remover? Can you use acetone? No, do not use acetone. I would rather use glass cleaner than acetone. So um, you can use this stuff right here. I, I don't like, I mean, you could use all the old school Windex, but I would rather use this. Ammonia free. Make sure it's ammonia free, but spray weight uh, can be used instead of wax and grease remover. But, you know, I was just in the habit. I've always been using wax and grease remover. I buy it by the gallon and I always have it. So I use wax and grease remover, um, you know, before any of my paint jobs, I tack it down after, after wax and grease and then you spray it. But you could use this for a touch up panel or whatever. This stuff works just as well. Okay, so it's up to you, whatever you want to use. Okay, but I would recommend this. All right, any more last minute Q and A's guys? I'm currently going to school for auto collision repair. I'm just trying to be, be to get better faster. You have any tips on getting clients? Yeah, word of mouth, you know, do talk to your friends and family at first, um, do a job, document it, Take before and after photos, spread the word, talk to, tell everybody, you know, but Hey, yo, I, you know, I paint cars, I do auto body. You know, if you know anybody, let me know, make some business cards. Word of mouth, mouth works very, very good, especially if you do good work. And especially if you are a man of your word, you know, you don't screw around, you give them a price, you do it, you get a good job out and it will spread quick. It will spread quick. That was my, all the jobs I ever did was word of mouth through high school, through college, you know, I never had to advertise because once you get that word of even look at this, Arnold said the same thing. Once the word of mouth goes out, there's a lot of people because people would rather it's the number one marketing source is word of mouth, friends and family. They talk to like, Oh yeah, my friend does this, my friend. It's easy. So I would say just start doing some jobs doing, you know, uh, give some good prices in the beginning, you know, to get the jobs, do good work, take before and after pictures, make a little, you know, portfolio if you want to, or just keep it on your phone, you know, in a little folder and just show people if they're interested or whatever. And, and that's how you do it. Uh, Charlie, ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Painting a new bike, solid color, 1400 bucks. Excellent, Arnold. I got so many people here that want me to do jobs. I just do not have the time to do it so busy doing all the other things but maybe in the future i'll get an apprentice uh who's looking to so maybe somebody out here who wants to learn it learn the trade and um we could do something but right now i don't have a huge shop to actually even do something i got my little shop and it's packed with it's packed i'm starting to unload my container and like we're having issues of where to put everything so i'm i'm weeding out i'm selling things um and then we are we are planning to build um, that bigger structure facility in the back of the property here. Arnold, thank you so much. Anybody want to email um, video or photos of your specific auto body project and you guys want me to reply to it, please send it in to ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com. And um, my girls will make sure they get it to me so I can reply. Um, just got an X27. I haven't tried it. Do you think I absolutely with 
100% certainty think it's as good, if not better, as Asada. I think for the price point, it's a very, very good gun. Um, they're the only guns I used, X27s, my go-to gun. Uh, but right now, I've been spraying a lot with the X88 Blue Moon. Um, it uses a little less PSI, and it sprays great. So for me, I'm using these guns. You could use whatever you want. You know, Iwatas are good guns. Um, Sadas are good guns, a little pricey, but they're all, you know, they're good guns. That's my problem. Not enough space. Yeah, <laughs> not enough space. Awesome, Jimmy. Okay, so I'm going to head out now, guys. Again, if anybody, if any of you guys are interested here to learn how to build an e-commerce business, you guys want to see what I do behind the scenes besides uh, my auto body YouTube channel. And uh, I, I have multiple streams of income online. If you guys want to sneak peek out one of the things that I do to make uh, a high five figures per month, check out this training. It's going to be, this page is going to be closing out in about three hours and change or so. Um, as long as you register there, you're going to get more updates in the coming days of the training program. But this is a one hour free training that you guys can sign up to to check out. No push, you know, you don't have to look at it, but if you're interested in alternative ways to create additional streams of income to add to your income now, um, because of these uncertain times or weird times, um, people, more and more people are buying online. Okay. I'm sure that's the case with you guys for the past year and a half. You know, maybe you've been buying more things online um, because of the whole COVID deal, but selling online is the place where you also want to be. You want to be on the other side instead of being the consumer you want to be the seller as well and tap into that multi, multi-billion dollar industry and get paid, you know, by being a middleman. And I'm going to show you exactly how to set that up. I'm going to pull back the curtains, show you my business model, show you what I've been doing for the past four years with e-commerce, uh, let alone creating a full-time income for the past 12 years online. Okay. 11 years now for me. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to check that out, check it out. And don't forget, Zula is doing a Labor Day sale. You can check it out right here. And I'm going to head out, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next week, Monday. Peace out. Have a good one. Cheers.